Good morning and um, welcome to the course. So again, good morning and um, welcome to the course. So today we're only going to introduce, I'm only going to introduce the course to you um, because we were supposed to do this last meeting, but I had problems with my video and uh, microphone. Um, although I think we're still ahead of the other class because the there are other um, there are four groups in AR two two three three, and I'm handling two groups: groups three and group four. This one. And the other groups are handled by architect Rani. And he just told me that he'll start meeting his class next week. So we're advanced. And he's also in charge of the course, actually. So he's going to, he's supposed to give me the blueprint or the pattern, uh, the layout for the uh, Canvas course. That's why I have not yet published it because. Um, in principle, um, I have to wait for that. No? But hopefully, I'll able I'll be able to publish it by Saturday. Anyway, so let's continue. Um, so in this presentation, I'm going to talk about the in, some information about the course, and then about myself, and then what are expected from you. Uh, at the end of this course, and we'll talk about the topics that will be uh, that will be discussed, and then what we'll be doing basically during class, and how I'm going to assess you, the class policies, and how I'm going to grade you. Okay. Now, if you are under me in AR two two zero zero, so this is the same type of presentation that I'm giving. Uh, the Contents, of course, will change, especially about course outcomes down to learning assessment tasks. But um, so just bear with me, please. And also the homework will also be the same, so heads up. Um, the course code is AR2233, and the course title is Site Planning and Landscape Architecture. Okay, so although this is offered only for BS architecture, at first I thought it was offered for landscape architecture as well because of the of the tag in the title, no? landscape architecture. But we will basically be talking about site planning, okay? Because actually it is applicable to landscape architecture. Um, we'll try to see if we can input uh, topics which are really um focus on the landscape architecture but for now uh i have to ask around on what are the expectations on, on this no? because this is something new uh, before it is simply site planning um as mentioned there are two groups that i'm handling group three and group four so no, group four now is 10 30 a.m to 12 30 a.m or that's p.m um, then this is offered together with AR2200. There are projects which will be coordinated between the two courses. Okay, I'll explain on that later. And you should have finished AD1111 or graphics and AD1262, which I don't know what that is. No. Anyway, we'll be dealing only with introduction to site planning methods. So there are things that we will not tackle anymore. I mean, we're not going to go into hands-on. Uh, we're not going to go into fine details about each topic. So this is more general calling broad strokes. Um, I noticed that some of you were under me in uh, AR2100. It's art, uh, art Design 3. Um, but for those who do not know me, so I am architect Troy Dino Elizaga. I usually drop the second name. Um, right now I'm in Bohol, um, but next week I'll be relocating in Davao City. So that's why next week probably on the set, on Thursday you will have a record recorded session 
um, because that's the time that I'll be traveling, and then the following week I'll be um, meeting you from the Bao City. Um, those are my contact information, uh, my email address, and my uh, phone number, mobile number. But I prefer actually that you send, you contact me through email. And if you have to contact me by mobile, I prefer text than call. And then if you ever contact me, please identify what course you belong, um, or at least what course your concern is about, no? because it's really difficult for me to, to memorize all of the students under all my courses. So, and then if you, if you don't specify, I end up, actually looking at my class list which is basically in the computer um, and I have to, to, to search for it to, to be able to answer to your queries because some of the queries are really very general like uh, sir what are the requirements that I need to complete or why is my grade like this like that so I don't know what, what course so I have to keep on asking um, consultation period is this um, I have to change this, but because I decided to make it 1 to 2 p.m. from Mondays to Fridays, okay? So if, for example, if you have questions or if you want to ask it to me uh, directly to online, so that's the time that I'll be online. Um, I'll explain that later. So even if you... Even if you send me a message at, say, 3 a.m., so don't expect me to answer immediately, so I will answer during the consultation period. Although I will, of course, read your message and determine whether it's urgent or not. No? And if it's really urgent, so just place there. So, mm -hmm. so what do I expect? Well, what is expected from you? Or what can you expect to learn from here? No? Uh, by the end of the course, um, hopefully you will be able to understand the site development process. Uh, and then you, you also learn how to analyze the project program, the effect of these factors on both site and the program, and the impact of specific programs on specific sites. So you have a building program, which you are learning in design, but then how does it impact on the site? Okay. And then actually you also have a site program. Um, so how do you make all of this? Then you learn collect how to collect information and data concerning an urban and rural planning or design issue. Then classify and analyze the data and make recommendations related to that issue. Which means that you have to learn how to do things scientifically. Okay. Uh, yesterday I mentioned in the plenary in design, I mentioned that in design, uh, most things become instinctive to us. Um, so here is where we try to do it in step by step. The, uh, the process is broken down into steps. Um, and then when you practice, normally it becomes instinctive. So when you go to the site, you can tell the client without looking at your books, uh, okay, these are the considerations, this is how it's going to look like. So these are the pros and cons. And then you'll also learn how to draw up guidelines for planning, architecture, and landscape architecture, and the schematic design analysis of a program on a site. Okay, so this is basically site analysis. So in the um, in design uh, three last sem, we had a we had a uh, plenary, and I talked about site planning. Well. Um, so. Wait a minute.
Okay, I'm sorry for the disturbance. So I'm in the office, so I also have to attend to my to, to visitors. Anyway, so the topics um, the topics in the Black Hexagon are the topics that we will cover during the first half of the semester. And the ones outside in the periphery are the ones that we will be covering in the second half of the semester. So we will start with processes and tools in site planning, uh, site programming, as mentioned before, site search and selection, so how to select uh, sites, how to look for appropriate sites, site inventory, which we mentioned in last uh, plenary, last SEM, and attributes mapping, and land use suitability. So we'll discuss how these two are related. And then in the second half, we'll start off with horizontal and vertical site development, which will be um, which is related to your next plate. So uh, clue. <laughs> Open space systems like your parks and playgrounds, circulation systems, your streets and utility systems, your drainage, electricity, and others. And then we'll also be teaching you presentation techniques to house the best way to present this analysis, etc. And if time permits, we are planning to invite some professionals to talk about their experiences in uh, the real world in, in site planning. But that's towards the end of the, the semester. So we will basically have online lectures all throughout. And then I'll be giving some assignments which will require vid watching videos because there are a lot of lectures online by experts. And uh, there are also some interesting uh, background uh, knowledge that you can see in video or, or example of projects. But this is the best way actually to learn no, from, from from experts um, and a few reading assignments, only a few, but because there are some uh, uh, text which is best read directly from the author, okay, so that you can also interpret it yourself just in case our interpretation fails. No? So we will have a quiz after each topic. So that would be every week because one topic for one week is how I, uh, I programmed I programmed it. No? And then uh, projects will be in coordination with AR2200. So in the first half, part of it will be uh, part of the site analysis or the site, the site inventory of uh, plate number one will be submitted separately also to, to this course. And then in the second half, the site inventory and site analysis, and also your site development plan will be submitted separately to this course um, in the second half. And then you will actually uh, present it to me, like defend it, uh, defend the site development plan. And then there will be a ma major exams. We will have the four exams, three midterm, midterm, three finals, and the final exam. Okay, so online lectures. Lectures will be given online, and I will be recording them. So uh, just like last, last sem, for those who were under me, I'll be uploading it to YouTube so that those who are who missed the lecture or the session can review it. And um, also because uh, there are data packages which allow you to watch YouTube for free or uh, allows you extra data for YouTube. So it's more convenient that way. No? So a link will be given to all the students in Canvas so that those who missed the sessions will be informed the availability of the uploaded video. So during the online lecture, so uh, hopefully I will not be disturbed. But in case there are problems, like suddenly my um, 
may uh, sound, no? Or the audio disappears. So please um, uh, inform me immediately. You have, un you have to un unmute your mics. It happened last semester, no? And I ended up like a clown. Um, but after the after I talk, after I give the lecture, so you can unmute uh, and then ask questions, or you can just type your question in the chat box. And normally, I don't really expect so many questions. Uh, online lectures will take only around an hour, even less, uh, even if the class period is more than one hour. Okay. So therefore, the other, the rest of the hour, the rest of the period. So you can use it to study, to do the assignment. Attendance is not required. I'm not going to check attendance since some of the students may not be uh, present. The only advantage of you being present is that you can participate, you can ask questions directly. Okay. So in the event that the attendance is required, so I will inform you beforehand so that um, you can arrange to make sure that you can attend. So assignments and quizzes are uploaded on Canvas and are submitted on the submitted date. So there will be submission dates assigned for each one. If you miss an um, exam or a quiz, you will have to still um, uh, submit them, okay? So even if it's way past the deadline, so, if, uh, let me see, before, before the sum ends, so even, so you have to comply with all the requirements so that I can give you a final grade. Because otherwise, I'll give you an INC, which I think happens to some of you. And um, you have one year to comply, okay, which means, so, you submit any time within one year, and then I'll have a change of grade. I'll apply for a change of grade. But if you go beyond that one year expiration date, your your uh, grades will automatically turn into NC or no credit, which is equivalent to a failing grade of 5.0, except that you don't see a 5.0 in your transcript. Except, uh, instead, you see an NC, but you have to retake the course. Okay? So don't go there. So reports will be presented and submitted in prescribed format on a date and time specified by the instructor. So normally, uh, in this course, my reports will be both written and a video presentation, uh, you explaining uh, what you submitted in your write up. Okay. Late submissions will be subject to penalties to be agreed upon by the student and the instructor. So I've been actually asking my co-teachers, the other teachers, that we should not be um, deducting points for late submission because there are many factors involved in online classes. Uh, instead, to, to give rewards for those who submitted on time. But we have not... Uh, decided yet how to operationalize that. In principle, any students can send an email to their instructors anytime to consult. So, however, the instructors will only be obliged to respond during class hours and designated consultation hours unless the matter is urgent. So, I already touched on this earlier. So, during the designation, a uh, designated consultation hours, the instructor will open a meeting session online for those who want to chat directly with him. Um, I still have to set this up because this meeting is open to all my students in all the courses that I handle. So it cannot be only in this, in this class. Um, so all instructions, reading materials, assignments, and announcements for the class We'll make use of the canvas. Okay, um, the only uh, use for Google Classroom for me is uh, for the Google Meet. 
because the, the Google Meet seems to be better than the Canvas conference. And also, if there are problems with Canvas, technical problems with Canvas, so the Google Classroom is a backup. So in case of complaints concerning the class, so you can approach me anytime. But in case of concerns regarding your teacher, regarding me, so please uh, address your concerns to the chairman, to their email at dev.usc.edu.ph, and please avoid posting complaints to social media. So it does not solve anything, so it makes matters worse. Okay. So don't make use of your classes, uh, not only this, but all, all, all your classes here in the university as a um, way for you to monetize yourself by getting likes or uh, I don't know. So plagiarism it works. Uh, well, plagiarized work, I'm sorry, will automatically be given a grade of 4.0. So Whenever you, uh, cite, uh, you borrow materials, you use materials of others, text or artworks or photos, um, please uh, cite your source. Um, it's a struggle for us because we have to do it even when we're supposed to use, uh, make, our, um, make our slides, but uh, at least we limit ourselves in the documents that we submit as reports, okay? So in, that, in those uh, reports, we should, uh, we should cite our sources. So replicating your classmates' materials and project components are considered plagiarism, so don't copy. Um, the internet is a way of detecting using the program Turnitin, and also I will be reading all of your, of your work so I'm going, I'm actually trying to avoid asking you to do, to write essays, you know, because my experience before is that really I cringe at the English, okay, uh, the composition and the grammar, but uh, maybe things have improved. But even then, maybe if I end up asking you to write something like an essay, um, Maybe it's a very short. Okay, so we're done to homework, which will be due next meeting, February 1. Um, as I mentioned, this is the same homework I gave to AR2200, whoever you are. Um, so if you already, you're done with this, because you're under me in AR2200, so you can just resubmit what you submitted there. Uh, you need to do that. You need to do that because um, the canvas tells me if someone submitted or not. No? And in principle, if you don't submit, there's, a, there's no grade. So you have to submit, although I already checked it. So you're going to send me a video of yourself, introducing yourself. Okay? You take the following information, your name, where you're based now. Like, for example, now I'm based in the hall. Whether you were under me before, uh, what courses are you under me now? Uh, how do you access Canvas? Your cell phone, laptops, desktop, or do you go to an internet cafe? Or how do you access also the internet? Do you have prepaid or are you using postpaid phone data or do you have a subscription at home? And then you show me a picture or, well, show me your study area, so where you study. So I, I need this information so that I can uh, get to understand your situation also. And my experience last semester is that the students just passed by me and then it seems like I, I don't know any one of them. But I remember some names. I was able to recognize some names who are here in this class. It's because I was able to interact with them during consultations. And then I also saw their work. But for me, it's not enough, no? because for the rest, uh, I only get to see your profile picture, and some don't even have profile pictures. And then some profile pictures are also heavily edited no? or filtered. So I don't know whether that's really you. So I, I wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to know how I can interact more. Because we also had a, we also had a survey 
among the faculty on how we we try to interact with the students given that the class is given online and somehow I, I failed in that respect and then I, I it made me wonder what how no? what, what can we do um, and this is just a step towards it okay so you can also include any other information which you think is important for example if you are sharing a room with so many people so that I, I would know that I would not be surprised anymore that some other are disturbances. For example, now I'm giving my my online lecture in my office. Okay, so actually there are only three of us here, but sometimes, uh, and then when I give the lecture, so they're just silent. But then sometimes I can't control the visitors coming in. Okay, so those things. Some people would present their pets because I also have the problem. I have a cat. And you can't control the cats. You know how they are. Uh, whenever they see you busy, they make sure that they are uh, they get your attention. Okay. So um, that's it for this session. Um, I think I I did not record this session, or did I? Yes, I recorded this session. They also recorded the first session. So this is actually a repeat. No? That's why I talk fast because I already gave this this um, presentation to the first class at eight thirty, um, and I could have just presented the the presentation, uh, the recorded presentation at eight thirty. But I don't think that's fair. No? That's why I I decided to just. Um, to give it live online. So, is there any question before we, we dismiss? Okay, so there are uh, 29 of you. I think in this class, I forgot whether there are supposed to be 30, 30 of you. But anyway, uh, it seems that most of you are here. Uh, so if you have questions, you can always email me um, so for, for now uh, I'll just turn off the recording and um,